What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be going over a home theater PC build that I'm going to do. Uh, I had a bunch of spare parts hanging around my house, so I figured, what the heck, let's do something with them. And before you guys go crazy, this isn't actually a 3570 and a 7970 going in a home theater build. This is just uh, the parts, my old parts that ended up in my new boxes. So uh, I guess I'll start by going over everything. This is the NZXT... Uh, Source 210 case. Uh, it's really cheap. It's well built and it's going to work perfectly for what I'm using it for. I don't actually have like a big home theater entertainment center station, so uh, I didn't really need to get a home theater's like case. Um, this will work fine and uh, it's from what I could, the research I did, it was quite a bit cheaper. Um, this is a, a PreSonus Firebox. It's something I've had for a long time, probably closer to 10 years. Uh, and it's just been sitting in my closet. But rather than buying a sound card, I decided to get just a little Firewire card and have this, uh, that's what the this uses. Um, and it'll work as a sound card just fine. I have some nice studio monitors that I'm gonna hook up to this. So I needed some quarter inch outputs and Rather than rigging up some crappy uh, something or another out the back of the motherboard, I decided to just uh, reuse this, and it'll work great. And I can have inputs if somebody brings their iPod over or something like that. And it has, like, eight inputs, I think. So we'll be just fine on that front. Um, the processor is a i5-3450. And the only reason I got the 3450 is because... A friend of mine was upgrading to an i7, and he wanted to get rid of it quick because he does. Uh, he's in school, for, or he was in school for video editing stuff. So um, I bought it off of him for a hundred dollars. Normally, an i3 would be plenty sufficient for for this, but more power isn't going to kill anybody. the The drive, as you can see here, is a ASUS. It's just a DVD drive. I can't really justify buying um, a Blu-ray player, seeing as my last roommate had a PS3. And we watched a total of zero Blu-rays, I think, on it. So most of the stuff I watch is online or on a DVD. So no real need for going with something crazy that I'm not going to use. The motherboard is a B75. It's an MSI model. Uh, didn't really need anything special, so the 75 chipset will work fine for me. Um, maybe I was thinking about actually making like a home server kind of situation, but... I might upgrade just for the SATA ports and stuff like that in the future. I don't know. Some of you guys might be a lot smarter about that stuff than I am, but um, this is just what I'm using for now for the home theater aspect. Uh, like I said, the Firewire card, that was like $10 on Amazon. I couldn't believe they actually still made them, to be honest. <laughs> Apparently, they're still fairly popular. Um, power supply, CX500. Uh, not the greatest, but for what I'm doing, it'll work. Uh, it's not modular either. But at the same time, I am using the majority of the power cables. I think there's only a few SATA, maybe a couple Molex that I'm not using. So it's not like I need the modular. The 6870 uh, is something, like I said, it's just been sitting around. So it's a fairly powerful card. It's just outdated. Uh, so this will be the perfect spot for it to go. Um, I'm thinking probably just most games, 1080p, maybe 60 fps just kind of kind of some couch games with an xbox controller i'm not trying to play battlefield 4 like uh, the videos i post that's not going to run too hot on this machine but um i think that's about it oh the hard drive is 250 gig wd black i think it's probably five or ten years old uh it's an older hard drive so it's only 250 gigs that was big back then um but it was one I had lying around. I'll probably upgrade that in the future. Maybe go with an SSD combo. I'm not sure. I don't know if I can justify buying an SSD for this. But I don't know if, if any of you out there have built home theater machines before, if it's worth it. I have an SSD in my gaming rig, and that's... Holy crap. Yeah, that makes a difference. But um, as far as RAM goes, I just have 4 gigs of cheap RAM that I found uh, from, <laughs> from my dad. Uh, it's... It's cheap stuff, but it will work for the time being. I'm actually going to upgrade my gaming and uh, video editing rig to 16 gigs or maybe 32. I don't know. We'll see if RAM comes out in price. It's freaking expensive right now. Um, 
but I'll probably upgrade that to 16 gigs and then put the eight that's in there into this machine. Um, not that it really needs it, but might as well do something with it, right? Um, I think that about covers it. Oh, um, as far as operating systems go, I'm gonna try to make this a Hackintosh, maybe. <laughs> We'll see. I'm not sure if this Firewire card or even this motherboard is really compatible. We'll see what happens when we try to install it. Uh, I have Maverick on, or Mavericks, I'm not sure which one it is, uh, on a thumb drive. So I figured I might as well give it give it a go. If not, it'll probably be a Linux. Uh, Linux, Or um, Steam, I think, is coming out with their OS tomorrow? Today? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how user-friendly it is. It might take some wonky stuff to get it working, but I might try that out and do a review over it. If I can get it working, that would be pretty cool. So anyway, I think that just about covers everything. I'll probably put a montage together of me building the PC. I'm not looking to do like a how-to video. There's a bajillion of those on the internet. So um, I will go over some cable management stuff. I posted my gaming rig on PC part picker and people seem to like the cable management I had done. So. Maybe I'll go over that. It's not rocket science, so I don't know. I have a lot of zip ties. We'll see. Um, but anyway, stick around and we'll build a computer. I've gotten the majority of the cables ran. Um, just going to take a second to explain some of the cable management. Um, the front panel uh, is pretty easy. It had this kind of flat ribbon cable that um, came with the front panel. So that covers up the USB cables that are underneath here. Uh, the set of cables, this is a good tip if you're looking to clean up a couple of your runs or your cable runs, is run them together like this on top of each other and then deal with it behind the case. I still need to zip tie these two probably right here, but that cleans up just having this nice solid run. It will run along with the power supply. Um, and I did do a little bit of a modification to the, the power supply here. Um, this, uh, the distance between these two connectors was probably another inch or so. And I just uh, clipped it down. Uh, if you want to learn how to do this, just Google it. It's easier than me explaining. But these these SATA connectors come off really easily, and you can just pop them off, and then shorten the cables and pop them back on. So shortened that. That cleaned up that cable run a little bit. Um, 24 pin. That's easy. The back fan here, the exhaust fan, is the only fan that's hooked up to the motherboard besides the CPU, obviously. But uh, there's only one header that I could find on the motherboard for uh, a fan. So the outtake fan, got it, and I just ran that with the 24 pin. Um, this is the four slash eight pin up here. I'm gonna try to figure out something to do with that extra one since this motherboard only needs four pin. Um, that's pretty much it for the inside. Now I'll go to the back. Here, uh, it's pretty simple as well. There's the 8-pin that runs up to the top. I've seen so many power supplies. I've only built one computer that's actually had to have it run on the inside of the case. I don't understand. If you, I guess uh, why, I don't know why uh, power supplies just don't come in a standard length that can at least reach, you know, to the top of a, a tower or something like that. But I've built in mid-tower cases where the power supply didn't even reach around the back of the motherboard. So... That's kind of frustrating, but luckily this one uh, reached just fine. There's that fan cable that's from the back. The front panel connectors here 
this ribbon, if you do get this case, uh, this ribbon for me was ran somewhere in here, but I just popped off the front panel uh, and rerouted it up through the top because all the USB connections were coming through the top here. I don't know why they made the front panel like on off switch come down through here, but just rerouted them down through here, tied them all together with the 24 pin um, down this little column. These are my two six pin for the power, for the uh, graphics card. That'll go in here in a second. These are my extra cables right here. Um, it's one run of Molex and one run of SATA that I had left over. This front fan is actually off my Hyper 212. It's in my gaming PC. I replaced the pan, the fans, and put them in uh, push pull. So this fan I had extra. I just had to use an adapter to get it to fit on a Molex. So. I won't have any control over it, but that's not that big of a deal. So that's where I bunched up all these. It's kind of a gnarly little mess, but from the front you can't see it, and it's not restricting airflow. Um, the SATA cables, let me see if I can get a good angle here, come in here. I don't like to bend them at a hard angle, so they're kind of just looped back here, but it looks like this, uh, this side panel is going to have plenty of room to run with those. How they are, um, as far as basic cable management goes, just look where it's going and tie it down. <laughs> I don't understand uh, how it could be so confusing, but uh, it's pretty simple. Just, I guess one tip I do have is don't tighten down your uh, your zip ties all the way. Uh, get a loose kind of, so you can, you can see I can kind of slide this one back and forth still. Get a rough estimate of where you want it and then get it in the case. It's a little bit easier to work with, like how I tied these two six pins together. It's easier to work with when they're tied together, but don't cramp them down to where you can't uh, take them off or else you just have to replace zip ties. And you'll waste a lot of zip ties I learned the first time I built a PC <laughs> doing that. So um, that's pretty much the basics. If anybody has any questions on cable management, uh, just ask them in the comments. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but Little tips I have, you know, are just to run your SATA together, maybe shorten a power connector here or there. Um, obviously, this is a home theater PC, so aesthetics aren't that big of a deal. It's just going to be sitting in a corner, but I like to take the extra time every once in a while. It's just to clean it up a little bit. Um, but anywho, I'm going to put in the expansion cards, and I'll be right back. guys I think that just about does it for the build um, I actually really like this case it was really easy to build in and I uh, I would recommend it for anybody that's doing a first build or a budget build maybe it's only like 30 something dollars uh, the only complaint I have is the the hard drive bays I wish they were a little bit better I just don't like them how they have the all the uh, the IO is on the the inside of the case. I prefer them to be like perpendicular. Um, but that's not a complete deal breaker. Uh, as far as the build goes, super simple. Um, we'll see when I get into the BIOS and stuff how I like this motherboard, but so far so good. But I guess the next shot will probably be me booting up and deciding what uh, OS actually is going to work. So see you then. Alrighty guys, it's the moment of truth see what she does Let's see if we can get a post screen here into the BIOS at least all right
Alrighty. Uh, CPU is a little bit hotter than I'd like. That might need a reseat on the, uh, the cooler. Let's see if I can boot it from. Oops. From there. This is the OSX uh, USB key that I have. We'll see. Looks like it's going to take it. Well, this probably will take a second, but I'll be back and let you guys know how it goes. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that motherboard was going to have it without some tweaking or something above my general knowledge of Hackintoshes. Uh, I didn't really feel like researching it right now, and uh, I couldn't find my Ubuntu disk, so rather than uh, downloading another one, I had a Windows uh, backup uh, USB key, so I'm just going to boot it into Windows right now, make sure all my cards are running right, and uh yeah just make sure everything's working correctly and other than that i'm gonna install this but uh thanks for checking out the video guys and i will talk to you later